Thanks very much for being with us. You're a long-time believer of India. You've been invested in HFC Life for a while. Uh, how do you see the opportunity in this market evolve ever since those FDI changes have been made to insurance? Well, um, in insurance, we have tremendous opportunities here. Um, you'll see that my company, HFC Life, we're in the process of merging with Max Life That's to right. make a very powerful insurance business. It shows the benefit of long-term partnerships. Mm -hmm. um, I've been working closely with my friend now, Deepak Parekh, for 15 years. Mm -hmm. And of course, after 15 years, you get to know each other, you pay attention to each other, and that's how these partnerships work best. But why is it that Standard Life has still not taken advantage of the 49% stake that you could go up to? Are we going to see that happen at all? Uh, is the merger uh, is stalling these things? I mean, just clear the air on that. No, not at all, because we deliberately only went to 35, because we want to leave room for other foreign investors to come in eventually. If we'd taken the whole, 45, the whole, whole 49, there'd be no room for anywhere else. So we're very, very very, very keen to have um, in our merged companies eventually, once it's listed, a properly diversified shareholder base, which will add to the liquidity in the shares, and we think it's going to be a very good future for the new company. So is the company as a whole in talks with other foreign shareholders, and where are these foreign shareholders from? Well, there'll be a stock market listing in due course. I know the eventual plan is that we, um, we combine Max Life, which already has a listing um, from Max Financial Services. We will take over that listing. Effectively, HGFC Life then reverses into that company, um, and there'll be, there'll, there'll, there'll be opportunity for people then to acquire shares through the stock market. But when do we see that listing process happen? Once all the re various regulatory steps have been taken in India, as you know better than I do, it's a complex process. We have to go to the courts. We have to go to the regulators, so it will take time, but we're making good progress and we look forward to it being completed. Uh, so, Grimshaw, I must ask you a question at this stage. How will this uh, affect your stake proportionately, the entire listing process, the entire reverse merger process? Um, as the company gets bigger, our stake proportionately comes down. Um, we're very keen to maintain our position as a promoter of this company. We think it's a very, very fine company going forward, and we're looking for a very long-term strategic so relationship. It will come down. It will come down to what? Um, it depends on the final sort of terms of the merger. Mm -hmm. You know, more shareholders coming. Everybody gets diluted down, not just us, proportionately. Because remember, the new company is accommodating shareholders both from Max Life and HFC Life. Um, but all those details will be revealed in due course. I can't let you go without asking you a question because you've been a long-time believer in India, and you've also had your in the game as far as the Indian corporate sector is concerned. We are seeing a very bitter boardroom battle evolve at the Tata House. Uh, so from being a foreign investor in India, how does this really augur for India? Do you believe this is just another boardroom spat or because the Tatas are what they are, uh, this impacts the image of not just India but Indian industry as well? I don't think it has any impact on India more widely. I think this is a matter for the Tata boardroom. These things happen from time to time in business. Um, we are great believers in, in shareholder, proper shareholder governance. Um, indeed, our India-UK financial partnership is publishing today a paper on responsible shareholder engagement. Um, Tata is a very fine company, very important to the UK. I'm sure things will settle down again quickly there. This is an unprecedented ouster of a chairman in India. Do you believe the issue could perhaps have been dealt a little more delicately, a little more sensitively? Uh, not really for me to comment, but things happen. I'm sure there were they're, they're fine people around the, ta around the board table of Tata. I'm sure they did the best that they could. How worried are businessmen in UK, and I'll let you go after this, how worried are businessmen in in UK like yourself about a potential Donald Trump victory in the US or are you keeping your fingers crossed against that one? Uh, I'm, too, uh, I'm too old and wise to comment on that but I think of it's extraordinary we will know in only 48 hours, 48 hours time but the, the UK, the, the, the US is a very strong political environment. To get to the top of a US political party, you can't be a fool. So I think there's two strong contenders fighting there. May the best man or woman win. Thank you very much for speaking to us, Sir Jerry. Thank you very much. Find us on Facebook at facebook.com slash etnow and don't forget to click the like button. You can also follow us on Twitter at etnowlive. To stay updated with all our programming, hit the subscribe button on our YouTube channel by logging on to youtube.com slash user slash etnow.